Gameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here in Midtown Manhattan at the National Football Foundation College Football Awards, not awards, but Hall of Fame announcement with one of the best running backs in football history, Marshall Falk. Appreciate you taking time and being a former running back myself. And I always want to ask a great running back that the position is unique. It's like a, a basketball player where you have the ball. You have to have a certain amount of arrogance to play that position. What is it about the running back position that makes it so unique and one of the best positions in all of sports? Um, I, I would say the fact that when you get the football, um, there's no one way to get it done. Uh, I, I liken uh, playing running back to being an artist. Um, no one, you know, there's, there's no one way to get the job done. As an artist, you paint a picture and you put it on the canvas and you allow, you allow the yards and, 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 and the production to tell the story, and then people translate that to itself. There's, as we all play, um, you look at this Hall of Fame and, and uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, there's no size, there's no certain size, there's no certain speed, there's no certain look that you're supposed to have. You can play this position and, and, and look a bunch of different ways. Yeah, one thing that people say, you see a lot of people focus on size. I live by the saying size is not a skill. And you went through that coming out of high school where teams looked at you based off height, weight, oh, he's going to be a cornerback or a receiver, but you were one of the toughest inside runners in football. Why do you think people focus solely on size? And Have we seen people miss out on great talent because of that? Well, when you think about it, um, the game of football is about bigger, faster, stronger. And... Um, most quarterbacks that are great, they're tall. Most linemen that are great, you know, they're, they're big and they're, they're, they're tall. They, there's, a, there's a stature. Most defensive players, they're big. You know, most linebackers are fast and big. As a running back, um, you know, from, from Larry Zonka to, to Barry Sanders, it, it really doesn't matter how big you are. It's whether you can get the job done. And um, if you're effective and you, you develop a style that's, that's conducive to – to, make, to helping your team win football games, you know, you you will be recognized. And I and I tell people, don't don't let what what people say about you uh, deter you away from being what you want to be in life. And it, that goes beyond football. And final question: I, I know college football is important, and what it meant for me, it helped me learn how to be open to other things. What would you take away from your college football experience, and what it taught you as a young man growing up? Um, college football, more than more than teaching me anything, uh, it, it allowed me to grow up. You know, you uh, when I when I think about you know the period from 18 to 22 that you spend in college. In today's world, we put a lot on 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 our kids between 18 and 22. Um, now that I'm a parent, 18 to 22, if your kid mess up. You know, if, if, if you see an athlete mess up, oh my God, bonehead mistake. 18 to 22, if you see your kid mess up, oh, he's growing up. <laughs> the perspective is everything. And I just, I, I just, uh, I'm thankful that I was given an opportunity by San Diego State to grow up in an environment that um, presents a lot of challenges. Uh, football is, uh, I, I call it the greatest sport ever because it teaches you a lot about what, what, what this world is about if you want to make it. And um, having the privilege to, to grow up, um, you know, at a, at a university like San Diego State and, uh, and become the man that I am today, I, I'm so thankful of it.